what compressors do you use when mastering and why? Now, in the mastering studio, we have three main compressors. That's not including limiters. Three main mastering compressors. Each have a different purpose and they all work in tandem with each other. At different stages of the chain, it's not like we put three compressors in one point of the chain. We'll have one in certain places. And they're used for certain different things. Now, I had someone the other day that, that said to me, uh, left a comment on uh, YouTube and said, you only need one compressor. Uh, why, why would you use more than one compressor? And they were quite kind of brutal in their, their, um, their comment and like saying, no, you only need one compressor. You you are stupid for not for not just using one compressor, and that's ridiculous. I don't know one mastering engineer who uses one compressor. Every mastering engineer that I know will use multiple compressors for different purposes in the chain. If you use one compressor as a mastering engineer, it's because you only can afford one compressor, and that's what you need to buy. So you've got an EQ, a compressor. Um, you you are only using one compressor because that's all you can possibly afford. If you could afford multiple compressors, you would have multiple compressors. Um, so I kind of, you know, I politely explained to the guy that, you know, there's multiple reasons why you have compressors. And I'm glad this question came up because I can highlight this and hopefully he can watch this and uh, kind of understand that there's reasons behind having multiple compressors and reasons behind using different compressors for different purposes. So the three compressors that I use, we have in the Masters Euro, we have a multiband compressor, which is the Masalek MLA3. Uh, we've had this for, God, probably 10 years now, and it is, it's one of the best multiband compressors you can buy. Uh, I, I love it. It's, it. Honestly, if you ever get the chance, if you ever want to get a multiband compressor, the Masalek MLA3 is incredible. Um, number two is the Elysia Alpha compressor. Now we use the Elysia Alpha compressor. Uh, this is a, a kind of, this is our main compressor. And I always talk about the Elysia Alpha compressor as the Swiffer, Swiss army knife of compression because it does everything. It gets you out of jail. It does everything you need it to do. Uh, Ultimately, it's an incredible sounding compressor. Uh, one of the best in the world. Priced at 10,500. So it's not a cheap compressor but it is incredible and it does everything. Uh, it has everything that you will need to do with compression built into it. So that's why I call it the Swiss Army Knife of Compression because it does just get you out of jail, does do every single thing that you will want it to do. There's not like, you you could arguably have this as your compressor um, and not have any others. You could arguably have that one compression but then you haven't got the ability to, to compress further down the chain or further up the chain. The other compressor that we use isn't a Fairchild, but it is one better in my opinion. It is the Unfairchild. It's the Unfairchild 670M Mark II. And what we use this for is, is it has a very unique quality. It adds that, that lovely compression that we want in the master chain, but it will also add a smoothing kind of real lovely smooth sound to the master and there's nothing quite like it and that's because it's running for I think 12 tubes and the great thing about the Unfairchild compared to all the other um, Fairchild clones is that the Fairchild is an original repli replica of the, the Yum Fairchild is an original replica of the Fairchild. So it uses the same tubes. It has the exact same features and more. So the DC uh, threshold is brought to the front of the unit so you can adjust that. We've got the expansion unit so we can use um, a wet dry mix, um, filter, which is the sidechain filter control. I can't think what else is on there. Oh, a feedback and feed forward control. And also the great thing about the, um, the unfair child compared to all the other versions is that the unfair child has, uh, on the time constants, it hasn't got this set, um, 
attack and release parameters, we have we have um, the ability to adjust our attack and release, which is brilliant. So the unfair child, if you were to want to get a fair child that sat, that isn't isn't a thirty grand fair child. Um, that's going to be, let's face it, quite temperamental, and you're lucky to get your hands on one. Um, if you want to be to to technically have one better than that, get the unfair child. Now, the unfair child with the expansion rack is about fourteen thousand, so it's not a cheap compressor, but it's an incredible compressor. Um, now we use we use that in the master chain. We might use it further down the master chain, or we might use it at the start. Sometimes we use it at the start. Now the 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 reason for the unfair child is it just has a a unique tone that no other compressor has, and that unique tone when when we get to the end of the master. If we let's say for instance we get to the end of the master and we just bypass, we switch the unfair child into bypass you lose so much from the master and when you look at all like we maybe have like i don't know 25 pieces of equipment in the mastering ch uh, chain each has its own unique purpose and unique job in the mastering chain we could go through every single piece of equipment and bypass one by one that one out put it back in next one out put it back in we could go through each one and assess how much change is being made uh, by bypassing each each uh, piece of equipment, and you know there's there's five percent between each, and it does make a, a a kind of a big difference each each piece, and it's accumulative over overall over the whole mastering chain of all these twenty five pieces of equipment. If you turn them all off and then put them all back on, you can hear a huge difference. Each one has a very slight unique difference. The one that you know when it turns off is the unfair child. You turn that off and you you feel like um you feel like there's almost I hate using the word but you feel like there's almost a warmth that that is drained from the track. And I guess that comes from the 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 15 tubes that are in the back of it. I think there's 15 tubes. Something like that, maybe 12. But there's there's a lot of tubes for a compressor. Um and it has just this unique sound that is incredible. Um, so that's why I used that one. And the one I didn't didn't really talk too much about is the Masalek. Um, now the Masalek, we use the Masalek it, as a multi-band compressor. It is a multi-band compressor. And, it, and the thing with the Masalek MLA-3 um, is it's good to have multi-band compression at some point in your, in your mastering chain because there's points where you don't want to compress um especially like people's mixes are they could be very very good they could be very very bad you can have issues in a mix that someone else has done where you know bass is too loud um the top's too loud and you don't want to use the s in you, you want to use a multi-band compressor for instance now if the bass is too loud and you need to use compression if you use um just a standard compressor you will compress the whole thing. Whereas a multi-band compressor, we can adjust so we can have more compression on the low end and let the, the mid and the high breathe more. Or, or, or we can have more compression on top, more compression in the mid. We can adjust these three bands. and We have crossovers for each of those. So a multi-band compressor is highly important in a mastering chain. Um, I, would, I would say the perfect, for, for me, the perfect combination is two exceptional compressors the alpha and the unfair child and a multi-band compressor and then you've got your limiters as well but we're not we're just talking about kind of compressors in this video we can do a video about limiters after so yeah they are my three uh compressors that i use when mastering and um yeah they're they're the reasons why i use them